Yeah, kind of, you know, as I just told the team, uh, you know, it definitely wasn't a pretty one, but, but we'll take it. Um, you know, we needed it. Our players deserved it. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of things to still get cleaned up from it, but it's always good when you can clean mistakes up uh, with a victory. You know, I'm proud, about, proud of how our guys fought and stuck together uh, this week. They really worked hard this week, and we continue to challenge them each and every day as coaches. And like I said, I feel like they deserve the win. Um, you know, we always know that it's, we prepare for a four-quarter game, uh, and today it was. Now, it didn't have to be, but it was, and we found a way to make the plays, whether it was on our the, the four-minute drive with the offense going up two scores with the field goal, whether it was the hands team finishing on the field there. Uh, give credit to Tom Allen in Indiana. Uh, I know they're banged up, and those guys fought till the end, and, and, and that's what the Big Ten's all about. Um, we need to build off this win. Obviously, we've got an opponent coming in next week that, that we know all too well. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to kind of go back to neutral, refocus, um, and like I said, welcome Penn State into the shell, and, and hopefully you know, we can get our fans out here to help come support uh, next week to try to help us get to number six. Uh, with that, I'll open it up to questions. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. Mike, could you expand on that clock killing drive there in the fourth quarter, the five minute drive to put you guys up two scores. How encouraging is that to see you guys do the little things and uh, what was the mindset and execution? Yeah, you know, this was one of those games and, and we always try to go in the game with the mindset of running the football. Uh, we benefit from the style of offense we run with the RPO stuff, which is why you saw a guy like Carlos Carrier make a lot of plays because of what they did defensively. They, they kind of basically said they're going, we're going to have to throw the ball to win because they're going to outnumber the box, whether they brought the corner from the boundary, the safety from the field. And, and Leah, you know, after that second quarter, started the third quarter, Leah really settled down and, and made good post-snap decisions with the football. But as we got into that four minute situation, we started right about six minutes. You know, one of the things we, we challenged the offensive line. Uh, we took the RPOs off because obviously we didn't want to be forced to throw the ball. And so we put the extra tight end in the game to try to tie down both edges. And you know what, the backs did a good job of getting downhill. We were able to get a couple first downs uh, and then put ourselves in position to go up two scores. So, you know, we didn't have necessarily the rushing yardage that you'd like to see and the balance you'd like to see. That's a little bit based off of what Indiana did, but when we needed to run the ball to win, I was really proud of the way the offensive line came through and the backs. Um, look, looking at what Carlos did today, was he a guy who you talked to about or expected to have a bigger role with some of these injuries? And what, what does it mean just to kind of see a guy who's been a little bit buried on the depth chart have a game like this? Yeah, you know, can't be more proud of, than a guy like Carlos Carrier. And, you know, he's been around here, I think this is year five for him. Um, you know, he's a guy that's kind of always been a role player. And again, with injuries, we always talk about next man stepping up. And, you know, it was great to see, you know, we made the decision. Obviously, we, we flipped him and put him in as the starter. And Darrell came off the bench, you know, some of that's based off of production. And it was great to see Carlos take advantage of the opportunity to be a starter today. Uh, did a great job of uh, executing the, the things that we did. I mean, based off of what the looks they gave us. So, you know, couldn't be more happy for Carlos having an opportunity to contribute the way he did today and really make the plays necessary. And we needed guys to step up and he did big time. Coach, uh, you had heavy rotation in that defensive line. Can you talk about what, especially the guys like Tyler Baylor and a couple of the other guys that don't play as much gave to the Terps today? Yeah, you know, Tyler's in there. Obviously, he's one of those guys that can play in multiple positions for us. He's been playing defensive end for us. Today, we had a plan a little bit of Sam, a little bit of Jack. You know, we're just starting to thin out there with losing, you know, Chami, and then this week losing Deshaun Hope to surgery. Uh, we had to move some pieces around. Uh, when, you, when you play the style of defense that we try to play, we, we got to rotate a bunch of players in there to keep the big guys fresh. Um, you know, obviously there's some things we got to still get cleaned up about uh, how we play defense and you know, we'll, we'll, get watch, we'll get on the tape, uh, try to make those corrections. Um, hey coach, obviously you guys started very fast offensively and there was kind of a lull there in the second quarter, you know, early into the third quarter. Kind of what changed in that 
in that period and then when you had that drive to sort of break that slump and kind of get your often back rolling? Yeah, the goal was to start fast. And, and one of the, the things we, we started the game with offensively was we wanted to play with tempo. And so the first two drives you saw us executing, you know, our, our fast tempo, our fast paced system, because, you know, Indiana is one of those teams that tries to hold their calls on defense until you make a call and then they get lined up. And so the goal was to start fast and we did, we were able to get ahead. But then once they saw that was our game plan, they made the adjustment and they just started bringing pressure from all over the place. Mike plugs, corner five, corner cats, us, buyers from the field. And that's when we tagged our RPO stuff and got out of the fast paced system that we were running. And uh, yeah, Leah struggled early in the second quarter a little bit with his decision making. It took us a while to get in at halftime. Once we got in at halftime, we kind of said, hey, here's what they're doing. And we were able to settle him down at least with his eyes. And then uh, he, things just started clicking for him. He started making the throws. And guys like Carlos Carrier, Marcus Fleming, you know, Rock Kim, Jared all stepped up and, and really uh, helped us. Hey, Coach, how did you think the rush defense set up today? I mean, again, you know, when I get asked that this early, I mean, when you, they ran for over, I think, 200 yards, uh, still got some work to do there. Um, we still gave up too many explosive plays. We had some guys uncovered. Uh, we got to get that fixed. You know, we got to get it fixed fast. Um, so when you look at it, I'd say that we still got work to do in terms of our rush defense and our overall defensive play. Yeah, Lance, I know you're obviously focused on the game during the game, but uh, having Coach Bridge here and having that 2001 team here, and especially with Bridge here, what, what did that mean to you to be able to bring him back in here today on homecoming and, and be able to win on a day of these here too? Yeah, I mean, uh, we talked to our players about that. It's really important that they understand that, you know, the brotherhood that, that is Maryland football transcends through generations. And I know for me, a guy that grew up rooting for the Terps and, uh, and a guy that uh, – uses a guy like Ralph Friesen as a mentor. Uh, I think it's way, I think it's due that he is, he should be given his due while we have the opportunity to do it. Um, you know, to honor him today, to have EJ Henderson be honored as well. And then the 2001 team uh, that I, I was a part of, it's great. And it's even better that the 2021 team did its job to allow those guys to enjoy it today as they come back home. Hey coach, uh, the team didn't commit a penalty until the final couple of minutes of the first half. Can you tell me about the progress they've made in that area? Um, still, gonna have, still a little bit more work to do there, but again, you know, I don't know if we, we didn't have a turnover on offense today. Uh, we did have a couple of penalties there up front late in the game. I mean, that's what it takes. You know, I still keep, continue to say that if we can win the turnover margin and we can win the explosive battle, uh, the explosive battle, uh, play battle, you can always give yourself a chance to win. That's one of the things I learned working under Ralph Friesen is good teams don't beat themselves. And, you know, if you can control the things that you can control, you'll have an opportunity to win. And today we were able to do that. Hey, hey Coach. Um, uh, obviously, uh, Tayon played Davis and Charlotte. Uh, they did a good job of establishing the run. So from your perspective, what do you think they did well? And um, don't believe we saw Isaiah Jacobs and Penny Boone. And uh, there's guys that they don't know. Yeah, I mean, Challen and Tayon both uh, – did a good job of taking what the defense gave them. Um, when we needed to run the ball there in that four minute situation, they both did a really good job of protecting the ball, making some plays uh, down the field, made a couple guys miss. You know, with, uh, you know, Penny was a late scratch due to injury. And then, you know, Isaiah's coming back off of the high ankle sprain. We warmed him up, he was dressed. He would have been an emergency, full, emergency player for us. But, you know, those two veteran players, Challen and Fleet have continued to be really consistent when given opportunities, um, and, and, and we're lucky to have that, that type of depth at the position. Hey, Coach, how was the energy in the locker room after getting back in the win column today? You know, it's a, it's a, it was a, a great energy. You know, winning is hard. And I, mean, I sit here, again, still frustrated as the head coach because we won, but we didn't win, you know, the way I wanted to see us win. And that's the perfectionist in me to try to uh, – ensure that we win the right way. But you know what, those kids continue to fight. Um, you know, they battled through a three game losing streak. We come back home, uh, we fought a desperate team. If we played a desperate team like Indiana, who much like us is a little banged up. And you know, it was a four quarter dog fight. And you know, 
the thing I liked is that we found a way to get the win, and uh, we didn't go cautiously, and, and we didn't play cautiously to not lose. And, and to me, that's one of the things, you know, Coach Friesen talked to the team yesterday. He said, if you want to win, you got to go take it. And I thought today we took the win. Coach, the defense today uh, got up uh, four for 16 on third down. How encouraging is that moving forward uh, after the month that you guys have had to have a unit that was able to make those plays, especially when I think they had that first and 10 from your 13 after the block? Yeah, I mean, our defense did some really good things throughout the course of the game. I think the big thing that continues to jump out is the, the, the lack of turnovers. We had a chance to have an interception. The ball squirts through uh, Jacorian's hands. Uh, you know, we give up these explosive plays, and, and to me, those are the types of plays that, you know, when you start, it's one, two, or three plays in every game that makes the difference. And, you know, we we're very fortunate that those plays didn't cost us the game this, uh, today, but they did do some good things on third down. They played, they kept us in early when we struggled on offense in the second quarter by keeping them out of the end zone and really did a really good job early, but I like to see us finish a little better. Thank you.